Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our April 2019 Mercedes GLC 250 Night Edition. This has the premium pack as well. So lots of extras on this car. The night, uh, the night pack also comes with the 20 inch black gloss AMG alloy wheels, black wing mirrors. The car's covered 31,605 miles with full Mercedes service history. It's a one owner car from new. We purchased it directly from the previous owner. So the whole car has been machine polished to a very high level, both rotary polished and then again with a oscillating mop head to really bring out the glossy shine on this brilliant blue metallic color which if i come in closely you'll notice is a bit lighter and a lot nicer um, than it looks from further back there if i come in a little bit more can you just see because there is another blue which is particularly darker this is the brilliant blue so if you google it or later in the video as we move around the car you'll notice the color really comes out. I've got the LED lights at the front there. Front and rear parking sensors with Parktronic, which means the car will park itself. We've got the 360 cameras on this car as well. The running boards. I'm gonna bring you around to the front. So with the night pack or the night edition, the trim down at the bottom of the bumper, front and rear is finished in gloss black opposed to chrome. And then the Mercedes grille at the front here, you'll notice all the surround is in black with the chrome opposed to silver. Now the car's in really lovely condition. All of the grills down at the bottom here, no damage at all. There's the very odd, tiny little, I say stone chips, they're just like pinpricks on the paintwork basically, which you're gonna get on all cars as soon as they go on the road. You can see the parking sensor on the side there, which helps with the automatic parking. Let's come out. Now the 360 camera on the Mercedes is completely 360 because you've got a camera just under the grill there at the front. You've got cameras under the wing mirrors under here, oh excuse me, nearly lost my voice, and a rear view camera. Some of the cars, you don't get the camera right at the very front. Now if we look down the side of the car from the front, you will see not only that lovely crystal shine, but if you look down the panel, you can see in the reflection that there are no ripples, it's not had any paintwork on the car. It's all genuine. We've got a, a good set of uh, tires on the car. They're the Goodyear tires. They're 7.2 mil on the front and 6.2 on the back as an average. And I know because I've just measured them. Okay, so we'll come up onto the bonnet. Again, a couple of very, very minor, look, almost like pinprick. I think the biggest of, of the smallest chips is this little chip here, which has been touched in with the right color and you're seeing it more so under these very bright lights that are above me. But if I move across, you can see it's just where we've put the lacquer on the chip, it's just sort of making it reflect. But if I come back out, you can see it's nothing uh, offensive, just very minor. And the whole bonnet is in really lovely condition, as is the windscreen, because they're very expensive, these windscreens, because they've got the camera systems in and there's no nasty chips. It's not uh, peppered or anything. And if we come up onto the top, we've got the panoramic roof. The Premium Plus is the highest spec that they do. The package is usually, it's about 1,500 pounds for a premium pack and as high as 500, oh, sorry, 5,000 pounds for the Premium Plus. And that's why when you're looking at these cars online, there is a noticeable difference uh, with a premium plus over a premium, or well, some of them aren't even premiums, they're just uh, either an AMG line or a night edition. So this is the all singing and dancing one. And not all of them have the 360 cameras. They don't all have the side steps. 
Now, if we look down the side on this side, unfortunately, we've got a bit of reflection from stuff in the background. So we'll look at it from the other end afterwards. All in lovely condition. Wing mirrors. And every part of our cars is, uh, sorry, is cleaned, even up under these wing mirror covers, as you can see. The side steps, which are finished in aluminium, there's no damage on them at all, no dents or anything. I'm just gonna show you the front wheel there. Got these lovely big brakes and uh, the AMG 20 inch black gloss and diamond cut alloy wheels. None of the, tr uh, the trim around the wheel arch is scratched either. Now this car was, uh, is full service history as I say with Mercedes. Uh, it was last serviced in April this year. However, on picking the car up, um, the, the uh, brake pads we noticed want changing. I can't remember if it's front or rear, but that's, it's gonna go in for our normal checks and uh, whichever set of pads it is required will be uh, changed. We wanted to get the video done today though, before, uh, but you'll see the warning light come up on the dash when I go inside the car. So there's the rear wheel. And if we look now from this direction, I'll come out a bit further. You can see the reflection, really lovely gleaming car and all under the back bumper. All the exhaust pipes have all been polished. All of the rear lights are machine polished. That will come up onto the roof just to show you there's no damage. There's no bird dropping marks, you know, where bird dropping stains into the paintwork. All in lovely condition. We've got the privacy glass at the back of the car. We've got keyless entry as well, and keyless start, and easy access, which generally moves the seats as you get in and out of the car, if you've got it turned on. Really nice lights at the back. And they've got a bit of black gloss trim, if I just come in, that runs along through the, uh, the uh, plastic part of the bumper there, sorry and all the exhaust. It's really nice when the exhausts are clean and they're not covered in black soot and carbon marks. All up under here, you'll see it's all in. And uh, conveniently, the camera comes out from that little flap, it drops down. And the benefit of that is that when it's been raining or you're driving and all the muck that comes up behind the car, if you don't have a, a hidden camera, shall we say, then your camera lens is gonna be covered in muck. So when you go to reverse, you can't really see anything, but the Mercedes ones is neatly hidden away and only comes out when you go into reverse. So a bit of clever thinking there. Now I've got the key in my pocket. I've just waved my foot under the back bumper. And as you can see, with the keyless entry and access, the boot is opened up on its own. Now with the keyless or comfort access, whatever you want to call it, you get two buttons at the back, one that you can actually lock the car up as well as close the boot from. If we come in, oh, let's just wait for it to get back into focus. There we go. All of the gullies all up and around the hinges. Very, very tidy. all the way down. It's just a little bit of dust on there. So wipe that off my finger. It's gone, those little specks. There's no damage on the back bumper. Not even any little scratches. And you'll also notice that the chrome plate that runs along the back here is all in really nice condition. You'd be surprised, sometimes people drag stuff in and out and it really scratches those panels up. Now if we open up, and we have got a, a hook here, so we can hold that up. 
And uh, this is actually a, a, a boxed basket, if you like. It's sort of concertinas down, so it fits in the boot. But then if you're carrying something in the boot that you don't want to spill or knock over, you can open that up and put it on the panel above, you know, so nothing gets knocked over in the back. We've got the netting for the boot, the cargo net, and then we've got the netting that runs across the back to stop anything going forwards in the car. We've got the locking wheel nut box for the locking wheel nut there. That what we'll do. And we've got the first aid kit in there. So everything that should be in there is there. And again, nice and tidy and clean. So we'll just unhook that. Pop that down. Now in the back here, you've got some little lugs to put your shopping baskets on. All of the, if I pull the back piece out, uh, you can just inspect that to show you there's no rips or marks or tears in there. There's no rips or tears on the back of the seats as well. Sometimes when they're put down and people slide stuff into the boot, it can rip the edge of the lever or the Artico lever as they call it. And then to put the seats down, really nice, just pull that button and the, street, uh, the seat drops down. Same with the other side, or you can drop the centerpiece down and that really opens up the boot. So we're just gonna wave a foot under the back again. Down goes the tailgate. So if you're holding something, you don't need to get your key out. I just wanted to show you another area where cars quite often get scratched or damaged, and that's around the filler cap. Because obviously, fueling up. All clean there. All your tire pressures. Now this is the petrol version, which is about 208 brake horsepower. I'll just come back out now. And it runs on the E10 fuel, no problem. I think the E25 as well, it just said in there. And it's about, like I say, 208 brake horsepower, nine speed automatic gearbox with dynamic drive range, you know, a bit of agility, etc. So I'll just show you down the side of the car from the rear. It's a bit darker on this side because there's vehicles in the background. But again, no damage. In fact, let's do the wheels. So driver's side rear, no damage on the wheel. No damage on the driver's side front. Let me just see if it's better in focus. There we go. And then again, the wing mirror cover, no damage. Got the camera underneath. And no damage on the door edge. So we'll just come back out again and then we'll move on to the middle of, uh, sorry, the middle, the inside of the car. <laughs> Now it does seem very dark in this light for some reason today, which is crazy because the lights are so bright. I think it's the daylight playing havoc with the camera. Let's get a pitch, uh, view of the very front of the car. And what I want to do is come down low. Okay, and come in. And just at the very bottom, you can see the detail just done as the bottom of the bumper runs underneath. You can see the detail under there. And those little square pieces, there's four of them, it's actually surrounded in black gloss. So when it's outside in the sun, it looks really good. Nice and sporty. move around again and then we'll take a look inside so as I say on the end of the door handle you'll see this little impression here if you watch the door lock when I put my finger 
or thumb on there, that drops down, the mirrors have just folded in. Now when you put your hand inside the handle, the mirrors open up and the door unlocks. So you no need to take the key out of your pocket or your handbag. I'm gonna take a look at the driver, uh, sorry, the passenger front door card. Now this has got the sort of black ash wood finish opposed to the black gloss finish on the interior. There is some black gloss, but I'm talking about this panel through here. Now, in my opinion, this is a much better finish to have because the black gloss is much harder on the bigger panels to sort of, it, it scratches basically. So this is a much better finish. Now, both front seats, driver and passenger are both memory. And uh, yeah, even the headrest, if we lift up the headrest there, the headrest is all electronic. And then this section on the top here, if you watch the front of the seat, you can extend it. What that will do is take the weight off of your heels and your legs. So when you're on a long journey, you can get really comfortable and you won't feel tired once you've got there. In the doors, plenty of uh, space there for bottles or cans, drinks. If we come down to the bottom of the door, we've got the puddle lights underneath. No damage or anything on there. And then if we look down at the seal, the Mercedes uh, writing in the centre there is, if I can show it, illuminated. So where it says Mercedes-Benz, sorry, we've got a light from above shining right down on there. Maybe if I come back out and then zoom in. So that's all lit where it says Mercedes-Benz. Looks really nice at night. All in here, all lovely and clean. Then we go into the car. We've got command on this car, which is, um, the bigger screen with the hard drive based uh, sat nav system and hard drive for storing music. I think it's called music interface or something. We've got lumbar support also on the side here. So these buttons here will adjust airbags in the bottom of the base where your back is. So you can get nice and comfortable. We've got contrasting stitching, center armrest there opens up, it's split in two. There's a little button and you can open that up for storage. Again, all the seats, really nice condition. And this is where you can see the, I think it's called Ashwood. It's along that lines. And it's just a lot better wearing. We've got electronic column adjust as well for the steering wheel. We've got way too much light coming in through the window. Can't do much about that for a second, but let's take a look in the back now. And this lovely Burminster sound system that you get only on the Premium Plus. So when you come in, you'll notice it's got like these polished aluminium speaker covers. The Premium, they're just a black speak plastic speaker cover, and obviously the sound system's not as nice and that there is just where we just had some polish out earlier and it's just a uh, yeah it's coming off oh we're out of focus sorry concentrate scott there we go it's amazing the camera picks up everything so these videos are well worth watching because it's like a magnifying glass sometimes the little dirty marks we can't actually see in the showroom and then you put a camera on it and the camera just, there's no hiding. <laughs> it picks up everything. Now there's no damage, no seat belt scuff marks in the paintwork or dents. The rear seat, we've got all the AMG mats in the back there as well. Just come up onto the headrests. We've obviously got the seat down on the other side, so we'll pull that up when we come round. So we'll go around the other side. And uh, check out this door card. 
no damage on there no damage on the outside edge all really nice and clean and if we look again just come back out there you go no scratches all lovely and clean and we'll just lift that seat up and it just locks in Ah, oh, and there's a little um, slot where the seat belts can hook into. So when you put the seats up, they don't get trapped in there. So you just sort of poke in there. Just try and show you. And then the center armrest, we might as well just pull that down. We've got a cubby hole in there and then cup holders come out of there so no one gets left out all of the center where the air vents are all in lovely condition again all the back of the seats the front seats that is we've got all the floor lighting in there so then let's move on to the driver door and as I showed you earlier no damage on the edge of the door nothing around the handle and we've got the lights on, so let's just turn them off for a second. So again, memory seats, heated seats, folding mirrors. Let's try and get this back in focus, there we go. And then you've got your central locking buttons just on the side there. There's a boot opening button down here as well, so if you wanted to open the boot for someone who's jumped out the car to get something, And again, if we look down at the plate and the edge there, all this is machine polished. They get little hairline scratches on these door shuts. Um, there's never anything too nasty on the cars that we buy, but we still machine polish everything. The idea is that we make the cars the best they can be and the best that's out there on the open market. And we do our, you know, I nearly said something then, but I won't say it now. But we put a lot of hard work in, and a lot of time more so. So we've got some switches here, and buttons for the camera, the 360 camera, and then there's a, a button just under there for the handbrake. And before I jump in, we've got the controls for the steering wheel, paddle shift for that nine speed gearbox. So we're gonna jump in. Now I need to start it because, oh yeah, go, key to start. Thirty-one six hundred and five miles. Straight away we'll come down. We've got these buttons here. So we've got voice activation, telephone, volume on one side. And then over here, this is for the display I just get this set up. So you press the home button. You can go into trip by pressing OK. Scroll down, it'll give you range. Your eco display, your trip. And we can reset that by pressing the OK button. Or you can have digital speed. And then back to the beginning, if we go back to here, we can display the navigation. In fact, oh, sorry, go back again. I think there's just one display on navigation. Yeah, there is. So down to radio. It was proved to be wrong. Yeah. I'm very just sorry. Just I'm sorry the for the down. Just turn the volume off. And then if you go down, you can go down through all the stations. And uh, if we come down a bit further, we've got the media, telephone, assistance graphic, attention assist, and then back, service. So the service is the one at the bottom here. So that was done in April as a say, but it's gonna go back in for the brake pads, whichever ones it is. And then if I go maybe the other way this time, I know it doesn't let you, so let's go all the way around to service and then settings. 
So there's a lot in here, as you can see, we've got traffic sign assist. So, at, so that's on, so that will show you the speed of the road. Brake assist, anti-collision, it'll bring on the brakes. And then your attention assist, basically if you start to wander on the road, the steering starts to go from left to right. If you start falling asleep, you can have it on stand or sensitive. It will wake you up, basically. I think it gives you an electric shock through the seat. No, I'm joking. It doesn't do that. Okay, so this is the command screen. Now, the command screen, as I say, is a bigger screen. Everything's run down here. This can be used like a mouse. So if I bring my hand up on, tap it, and then stroke across, you can go into the media. Oh, let's just get this back in focus, sorry. Let me rest my phone like that. There we go. So we can, it's like a touchpad basically. And there's a back button there. There we go. Um, radio, navigation. It's not touchscreen, is it? No. Now what we can do is use the iDrive wheel as well. Not the iDrive wheel, the wheel. And you can come down and do the air vents. And you've got a huge selection of options for your air there. So if we could just put it on auto, and then we can come aircon, fan speed. So you just press down and then adjust. We'll leave it on auto. In fact, we won't, we'll put it on low. If we go back over to the, oops, there's the airflow as well. Go over to the left, settings, Oh, it's volume, etc. But you've also got down here our shortcut buttons. So, for example, car will take you into vehicle settings. Acoustic mirror folding function, so you can have it so they fold in automatically. Illumination for the outside, automatic locking, interior light shut off. Tollway protection, interior motion sensor, ambient lighting color. This is where we get a choice of the three colors for the interior. So you could have it on yellow. And uh, I don't, you can tell actually. So that's the yellow glow. Oh. Ambient colors, bear with me. <laughs> there we go. There's white. It's from up underneath there and then the blue. We'll leave it on blue. Okay, sorry, so back to there. So we've done the car features, then we've got uh, telephone, media, and if you go through the media, you've got your Bluetooth audio, uh, information on the disc, memory cards, you can put your memory card. That's it, media register, so this is your hard drive to download music into and then you've got like the usb devices as well so you can do all that radio obviously dab radio and you've got a few digital radio internet radio etc and then we've got navigation and if we go to the top i think this one over here is like the mercedes-benz apps internet so you get the idea there's lots of options. Now we're gonna put the lights back on now. Let's put them on beam, turn everything up. That's it, so it's all lit up now. So the condition, by the way, there's no damage. Cup holders and everything in here. That's your USB connections there and SD card. Now, I've just had my hands over here, so I've just smudged it all, but we've got volume control. We've got the dynamic drive mode. M is to put the gearbox in manual mode, and this button here turns off the stop start. So the drive modes come over here. You can run from Eco, and I'll show you the settings over here now. Comfort. Sport, Sport Plus, 
and then we've got individual. Now, if we press down, we can go in and we can adjust, for example, the engine, you can have it on, uh, sorry, we're on the, uh, the engine. So we press on engine, we can have it in economy or sport. So you can set up um, basically the individual mode for everything. That's the engine. So if we come out of there, there you go. And then the steering. So we can set up the sensitivity of the steering to comfort or sport. Stop, start, climate and power, basically. I'll just bring you over all the books in the glove box. Ooh, let's get that back in focus. All in really nice, and we've got this lovely big sunroof. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the sunroof all the way. There's a blind as well, electronic blind, but it goes back to that section and then it goes back a little bit more. Now we're gonna jump out the car. Pop the bonnet. He says, there it is. A very quiet engine. Now all of the engine bay is cleaned by hand initially with uh, WD-40, brushes, cloths, any leaves are hoovered out. All these covers come off and they're all cleaned under there. This has actually been polished as well, this aluminium trim. All really nice under there. And up underneath, I'll just show you here, all in really lovely condition. So I'll pop that back down. Now what I wanted to show you is, we've left the roof open. We turn, oh, I'll come back to that. I didn't show you the cameras. So let's press the camera button. So this is your 360 view here. This is your rear. No, that's your front view actually. And then along the top here, you can change the view on this side. So you're looking down at the front there, down the side of the car, down the side of the car from the other direction. One's looking from the front, one's looking from the back. And that's looking down at the back. So when you're parking, there's no excuses. You shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't scratch your bumper because you can see all around this car. And that's looking, that's the rear view one. I think we've reached the end. So that's the widescreen down the side, looking from the back to the front, the front. And all the time over here, you can see all around the car. So I'll go back to what I was gonna show you next. So what I'm gonna do is jump out. There's so much on these cars to show people that doing these videos freelance, you do forget a few things. Now, we've got out the car, we've left our roof open. Now, where did I put that? Here we go, we've got some spray here. So, You've left the roof open, you wanna go and do something, come back, you don't want the car to be too hot, and it starts to rain, a shower comes over, and we're just gonna spray on the surface there, and the sensor picks it up, and it will close the roof automatically, but leave it in the vented position to let the car breathe still. How thoughtful is that for Mercedes? So, really nice trick there. So the car, as you can see, is in really beautiful condition. We're lucky enough to work with a really good warranty company. We've got some fantastic packages. You can take up to four years with our warranty company. 
claim limit to the value of the car. These are the extended warranties. Work could be carried out at the main dealer as well. So if you've got any questions, please give us a call about that. We offer finance of Santander. And, uh, you know, the rates are going up at the moment. So get in quick if you want to secure a rate. But uh, we've tried to keep them as competitive as possible. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope to speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.